Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker. Listen, if you're watching this on YouTube, can you go ahead and click subscribe? And that way you'll always know when I drop new videos and it will help me as well. Um, I am showing you today a read repair shop. Um, Gwen's Reads are beautifully constructed. They look so nice. They've got beautiful thin tips. They've got response, but uh, they are too hard and flat for her. And when I went in and looked at these reads, it turned out that the heart was really her problem. Um, hi Gwen, thank you for sending me these reads. Um, I'm finding them really interesting. Actually, I've been thinking about them um, a lot as I as I look at them here. Your complaint about reads one, two, and three um, is that they are they feel both hard and flat, and all of them are a little on the short side. They're already um, at or below seventy millimeters, so there's not a lot of room to clip. And you specifically said. I scrape the tip and they feel like a good heaviness, but then I clip them because they're flat and then they're too hard. Um, and I think that what's going on here actually is that you've just got, um, your, your balance has gotten a little bit off between the tip and the heart. And I don't think there's actually quite enough stuff in the heart to support your reads. I think that there's this uh, read number one has a lot more promise actually because it feels just a little bit weightier because it feels like there's a nice amount of resistance as I blow into it. It's crowing a C or a C sharp for me. And it's playing almost perfectly in tune for me too. Um, I, I think I would guess that I tend to play the littlest bit more rolled in than you because if I'm trying to make it flat as you have um, complained and I go out more to the tip, I can get it to, to nearly appear flat. Um, as I look at this read, it's actually really beautiful. And I like this side more than this side, just because it feels like there's been so much scraped out of the heart already. Um, but this read is my is my favorite of the reads because for the uh, relatively thin heart that you have, your tip is long enough and thin enough to to support it. So for me, the balance feels pretty good. But I contrast that to this pink read. It crows actually high. It crows a C sharp. But as I go to play it, there's no um, real nuance to the articulation. And I, I speculate that that is because the tip uh, is beautifully thin, but maybe a little bit too uniformly thin and too short for the thin heart that you've got going. It just it feels like a balance game and I don't... And we're not quite there. As I measure this heart with my micrometer, I'm getting the middle of the heart being 40 or 41 uh, microns, hundredths of a millimeter. And on the other side, hello, go in there. Same, about 41. And actually if I get off of the spine at all, then it even goes back into the 30s. And in comparison, my read over here that I was practicing on this morning is at 51 in the middle of the heart on that side. And 50 over here. I'm not a big micrometer person. I, I use it very seldom. So, um, But it stands out to me that a tenth of a millimeter difference is a big, big deal. Your blue one, your navy one, which feels better to me as a read, is sitting at 42. And actually 45 on this side. Um, and so I think actually your fundamental problem is that there's just a little bit too much scraped out of the heart. Um, and I'm not sure that I can fix that, but I'm interested in trying. I kind of want to leave this navy blue guy alone because I like it. Um, But this pink one, the only way I know to make a too thin heart 
feel thicker is to take off a little bit of wood everywhere else. And I acknowledge that your reed is already thin and already short, but you've sent it to me to work on and so I'm going to experiment. I want to see if I can take out more behind the heart and more uh, at the sides and corners of the tip to rebalance this reed. So I'm being gentle, of course, because this is not my reed. And I don't know whether I can bring this guy back around, but I think that the thing that you're perceiving as hard um, is actually that there's just not enough stop in the various parts of the reed. So you really have to, the, the, the tip makes the heart vibrate right away because the heart is so thin. And so the whole thing feels um, a little unstable like I have to really hold on to it hard. Um, as I work in the tip here, I'm actually gonna bring your rooftop angle just a little bit back down. Um, because I want the tip to feel longer in comparison uh, to the length of the reed. And I'm not gonna do much because you were in about the right place before. But I do notice that your um, rooftop is a relatively shallow one and that the slope through the tip, um, that your, your tip tends to be more uniformly thin than mine and less sloped. And so what I'm gonna try to do is remake this rooftop a little bit to steepen a little bit, which hopefully will bring more stability to the reed and again, I don't know that this will work because I think that the fundamental problem is that there's just too much out of this heart. And I'm being very, very careful here to not do anything in the middle of the tip because I want that strength there. I really just want to get the outside. So now I've definitely got a reed that's crowing a bee that uh, feels very, very light in my mouth. I'm gonna clip a tiny bit, see if I can get that crow up. It's a very light C. like that response to be a little bit better and the only way I know to get um, to improve that response is to be a little fierce about the gutter of the rooftop and the side of the tip and it looks good to me on most sides I know I'm the one who did this new gutter so I'm just gonna click in one more time and try to find this. I think you'll be, I think I'm gonna have more luck with your medium blue one, your read number three, but we'll get to that in just a second. So, gutters, sides, and corners. Back to a B crow, I clip again. It's so frustrating a read that it, when a read that is already short and flat crows low because you know, you don't, really want to keep going and yet like I want to make this read work for you. It's a real loose C. I'm not saying this is fantastic um, because it, it really is too light. But I do find that uh, in contrast to before, as long as I'm helping it with my mouth and really collecting it, I can uh, bring the attack in a little bit more artistically. I can, I can come in more softly. Um, this read is, is unideal and I think your fundamental issue is the thinness in the heart. So I would encourage you as you work uh, forward on your next set of reads to really pay attention to the slope of the tip way before you go back into the heart. Now this read, uh, you'd mentioned was a little bit less finished than the others. And I agree, it definitely has a lot more weight and a lot more resistance to it. Um, and let me go ahead and measure your heart before I do anything else. 
And I can see that you're at 43 here on the one side. And and 42 on the other. So that feels a lot more promising to me. It crows a C, but it's a little bit hard to get to that crow. And it plays exactly in tune for me, but it's definitely a, a heavier read. So, um, if I want to do work here that does not interfere with the middle of the heart at all, but I want to improve response, um, the thing, we've talked in, in Read Club about scraping the channels of the heart rather than the sides of the heart, and, I've, and I can see that that's exactly what you've done in all three of these cases, and especially on this read, I don't think that it's serving you. I think the advice that, that uh, I've been giving you now that I'm seeing your reads may be poor advice because I feel it desperate to scrape the bark on the side of this one to see if I can make that um, response feel a little bit better. I like to think about, here's a pencil, you know, the rail at the side of the, of the read here is so important and we maintain that, but I really do like to think about the vibrations coming like from the middle of the reed outward. So there's almost like, even though your, your shape is very, very straight, I wanna think about a V of vibration. I wanna think about aiming toward the flared corners that don't actually exist here. So what I would like to do is go ahead and scrape, especially like there, the bark off of the sides of the heart and see what that does for our response before I even, uh, before I touch your rooftop, before I touch anything else, because that's what looks out of line to me. Quite a lot of bark on the right side and then I'm just gonna ever so gently arc over and take the left. Dropped the crow, but only by half of a half of a half step. And for me, that's a read that's playing um, in tune, but has a lot more nuance. It's easy for me to start a note a little bit more softly and gently. And it's easy for me to uh, connect notes on the air. Whereas before, this read was feeling very hard. Um, I think it's very rare for me in a, in a read repair shop video to not be messing around with the corners and sides of the tip. But I just don't see a big problem there. You've, um, you're very, very thin. I'm, I'm not scraping. I'm just sort of ghosting with the knife to see if there's anything I can grab. And I do uh, question the shape of this rooftop a little bit. I see almost a little curvature there. And then this. It's only on one side, it's barely even a thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and just improve right there. It's so small and it's so specific. I don't even like want you to draw a larger lesson from it. I'm just looking for symmetry at this rooftop. And over here on the right side, I'm finding just a little bit of stuff at the side. It's a C crow. And the read plays for me beautifully in tune, with a very con in a very connected way. So, what is our what did I get here? This read, which you sent me a little bit less finished than the others and a little bit too hard, has for me come out to be the the most successful read because you hadn't taken too much out of the heart yet. Um, 
I think that the thing you're doing on all three of these reeds is scraping in the channels of the re of the heart, leaving spine and leaving rails on the sides. And I might suggest that you try it the other way. Let the heart be rounded all the way across rather than uh, spiky in the middle and then hollowed out on the sides. Um, because I think this shape um, may ease your response issues and enable you to make, uh, because you, you have already beautiful stuff going on in your tip, beautiful stuff back in the windows. Like your scrape is actually lovely. And these reeds are so close to being reeds. On these two, um, this one much more than the other, I feel you've gone just a little bit too far in the heart. And so I would encourage you to wait. Get that t get a long tip vibrating first. Get a long tip with long with slope vibrating first. Scrape across the heart rather than in the channels of the heart, and see if you can leave a little bit more bulk in that area um, to help you blow. And then to ease resistance, like go go later into those channels if necessary. This read I genuinely didn't touch because I think it's quite a good read crows nicely. It has a slightly um, a stuffier sound than the others. I would like Gwen to run the experiment of taking the sides of the heart on this guy too and just seeing if that takes care of that stuffiness makes it any different. Can you hear it? I, I always feel like I can hear the bark and the uh, and that sort of chalky cane right below the heart. There's a noise. And then as soon as I scrape it away. And as soon as I scrape it away, it goes. And this is the quality of cane I'm taking off. There's almost nothing. I'm just trying to like sculpt, mm, not sculpt. I'm just trying to polish your heart into a slightly different configuration. It's a nice read. Um, this is the kind of read that I really like for playing in like quintet, um, where I don't actually want to be too elbow sounding. Um, I want it to be a little bit more muffled, but like I don't want that when I'm here in my room at home. I want the oboe to sound like an oboe. If I do my standard thing, if I go right to the gutter of the rooftop and work the sides, does that help? Definitely made it a lot easier immediately. There's a little bit of flatness in the middle register. But it's crowing a C. Honestly, I just wonder if that if that flatness is coming from not having the support in the heart.
read in there. Um, what did I do? I just uh, helped the helped the rooftop the tiniest bit so that we've got a better um, a better transition from heart into tip. Um, overall message here, I think for sure, is that you're taking too much out of your heart too soon, and that I think um, this will serve you better than. <laughs> I can't even do it with my hands, than the, um, than the scraping in the channels of the heart, for now. Um, your tips look absolutely beautiful, the response is lovely. Um, it's just about finding that balance between the, the tip and the heart. Um, you notice I barely touched, I didn't touch anything south of the heart, except in this pink guy that I was trying to bring back around. I hope this has been helpful. This has been a read repair shop episode of the 5 Minute Read Maker. Um, you can follow all of my videos here on YouTube, and please do subscribe. If you are interested in uh, having a read repair shop uh, done for you on your own reads, you can find me at JanetIngle.com, which is also where you could order reads or cane or read making supplies, um, or find a way to email me. Um, I hope that this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.